Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be making a request submitted by No Knowledge on YouTube for different footstep sounds on different materials, which is pretty cool, pretty fun to set up, and we can play with physical materials, a little bit with animation, and all we're going to need to get started are some footstep sounds. So I've got some, uh, some grass and wood footstep sounds here. I've got two audio clips of a footstep for left and right foot, uh, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So the first thing we'll do is right click, uh, go to physics, let's make a physics material. So we click physics material, hit select. This will be grass underscore PM. And we'll just leave that as defaults for now. And we'll also duplicate it, make one for wood underscore PM. So far, so good. So we'll file and save all. Then we'll head up here to editor and then project settings because we need to go to physics and declare our different surface types down here in physical surface. So we have a lot of different entries here. We're just going to use, well, just, just two. Uh, one for wood and one for grass and we'll hit enter on those go to the top make sure that we set as default if you don't see them right away you can try just restarting the engine or if we make one and then set it back to none get this alert we'll force it to update and can probably save you the restart so we'll close that window and then let's open up each of these one at a time and set them as would seem appropriate so wood for wood and grass for grass and then we can call them in the engine and uh, do different things based on their actual surface the next thing we want to do is head over to our mannequin folder because we're using the third person character we're going to go to animations and open up uh, third person run for starters and we'll get this run animation for our mannequin and we want to add a notify here in this notify bar for whenever whenever a footstep is made so here at about frame seven we're going to right click, add notify, and we can go new notify and add a new entry. Let's, and then scale up to notify if we've already got one declared. So we'll put one down at frame 7 and another one here at about frame 16. Scale up to notify footstep. All good. And we'll do the same thing for walk because both of these animations are used in the blend space. So we'll need to set one for each depending on which animation state he's making the footstep in. So we'll put one down there and. Also here, Skeleton of Five Footstep, and our animations should be done. So let's open each of these up again and save them. All right, that's all well and good. And now we need to make different surfaces for the character to walk on, so that we can test out our different, uh, different, um, you know, footstep sounds. So we'll just duplicate the floor here, and we'll line this up so that they're touching. And I'll position these sort of in the center here so we can get two different different sides here that we can play with. Okay, let's make some materials. So let's go to our starter content and let's find our ground grass. Let's just right click, make an instance of that, drag that onto our uh, right side here. But of course, it's not quite ready to go yet. We can open up our starter content material here. I'm just going to add a multiply and a scalar, call it UV. Set that in there, we'll default it to 1, and then hook up the result of this multiplier from our texture coordinates to each of our textures. And also, while we're here, we want to go to our base material settings. So you can just click the graph, or you can select this base node, and set our physical material to grass, our grass underscore PM from before. We'll hit save, and we should be ready to go for grass. Alright, let's open up that instance and have a look. Ah, so here we can set the physical material again to so grass and our UV settings, which I'll crank up somewhere about, yeah, somewhere about nine. Yes, yeah, so we'll save that. And now let's go down to the wood here. Let's get uh, this walnut polished. So like before, we'll set our physical material to our wood underscore PM. And I'm gonna make another multiply and another scalar here. Fold it to one. Hook all this up, and this will go into all of our UV textures. All right, just like that. So we'll hit save, and we should be ready to go. And now let's make an instance of our wood here. Drag it onto the left-hand side, and we'll open this guy up, and also bump its UVs, just so it's not so, not so huge. Somewhere around twenty-four. 
All right, we'll save that. Oh, and we'll also need to set our physical material to our wood underscore PM. Now we can uh, muck about with our mannequin's animation blueprint and play a different sound for when the, for, 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 you know, depending on which surface the player is currently standing on. So here we are in the event graph of our animation blueprint. Just compile this so you know that it works. And so what we need to do here is, so let's right click. We'll type in anim for anim notify. And we'll see here we have our anim notify footstep that we declared in our animations from before. So every time the animations are going to hit that notify, it's going to fire off this node here in the event graph. And we can do different things based on that. In this case, footsteps. So let's initially drag off, we'll get ourselves a line trace, a line trace by channel. And we're gonna fire a line straight down from the character into the ground to see what surface we've just hit. So let's right click again, we'll get the player character and the actor location of that. Get actor location, there it is. And this will make our start point. And our end point will be that same point, but down, but straight down. So we come off the actor location, let's type minus vector, minus vector. So we wanna go down in Z, so minus 150. Or we'll just subtract 150, not negative. And but we need to end. So that's our line trace handled. Now we'll come out of here, out of the line trace, into a branch. So we can return and do things off this true if we if we get a return value, like if we get a hit. And out of this out with our break hit result. So this will get us our location. That's this vector here. The location of where our footsteps occurred. And also out of this out hit, we're going to get the surface type. This will be where we'll derive the surface type that we hit. So out of that get surface type, we're going to switch on E physical surface. So just right click, start typing switch, get one of these switch nodes. And you can see here, it's got the wood and the grass that we declared in our, our project settings from before. So out of this true from this branch, we'll plug into the switch. In fact, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more space here. Now we can play sounds based on which surface we're on. And because we've got two, we've got a left and a right foot. So we've got alternating footstep sounds. We'll come out of each one of these guys into a flip-flop and we'll come out of here into a play sound. Play sound at location, which we'll pull down here. Our location will be the location vector out of this break hit result. And the sound in this case, which is wood. Get our asset wood 01. And we'll also turn the volume down. So I'm like 0 0.5, so it's not too loud for the video. Then we'll duplicate this place out of location, come out of the B in our flip-flop into this one, and set this to our footstep wood two. So let's duplicate these three nodes for grass. Just like this, we'll set this one to grass 01, and this one to grass 02, and feed this one out of the grass out, uh, output of our switch. And we'll also have to hook up all of these locations. Let's do that really quickly. There we go. And now we should be ready to see some results happen in action. So let's go back to our, our editor here. Just hit play. And then we have grass sounds on grass. And we have wood sounds on wood. So yeah, this is a really easy, really simple application of the physical materials and a way that you can get different, different footsteps for different surface types. And you can have as many surface types as you like. Well, up to like 62, whatever it was in the project settings. Anyway, that's about the end of uh, this video. I'd like to thank No Knowledge again for sending in the request. Much appreciated. If you have any other suggestions for videos that you would like to see me make, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can make a purchase at my Gumroad store or a one-time donation on PayPal. Thanks guys for watching all the way to the end. And I will see you next time. Cheers.